So this is chapter two of the grocery store series. Um, I'm going to start it out in the parking lot because there was an incident here with a person walking toward me. It's just one of those classic cases of two people walking toward each other. And for some reason, between the two of you, you can't figure out which way you're going to go around. Uh, so I'm kind of keeping to the right, like hugging the cars. But for some reason, like he insists, like that's his side. So I don't know if his car was over there, or what the fuck the deal was. Uh, he kind of bullies me out, and then I end up going around the other side of him. So not even in the story, having some issues. But um, I don't know. I get inside here, and I just start like I usually do in the produce aisle, in the bananas, trying to get uh, out to the left there. Some people come through, so I kind of act like I'm still looking at the bananas, even though I'm just kind of waiting for them to get the fuck through. Um, I'm going to bring the store audio in, just listening to the walkie-talkies here, because there's a juicy story that kind of develops as we're shopping here. So I'll just kind of listen in. It's a little bit hard to hear, but uh, over there, walkie-talkies, uh, someone was saying, somebody placed the order for like a platter or something, and then they came to pick it up and no one knew what the fuck they were talking about. So it just made me kind of happy just envisioning that playing out in my head. So like my last video, let's bring up the store map. It's a pretty accurate layout of the store. Nothing too much happens, so I'll just bring out like a map overlay. The little red square is kind of where I'm at uh, in the store, kind of a tracker. You can watch my pathing, which is not too efficient today. Uh, I'm making corn chowder, and I don't have a list, so like I remember shit, and I have to backtrack and double back, which you never want to do. Uh, so I'm grabbing corn. Not even a great deal. It's three for two dollars. It's uh, I think it's local corn, so it's pretty decent. Um, head over, grab a thing of sushi. Their sushi's pretty decent, uh, good price, so I grab one of those. Um, then I remember I needed black pepper corns because I have a pepper grinder. So I head over here and I have a bit of a fuck up and I'll kind of explain what happened. Um, so I bag the shit up. Then they have a, it's an easy system. You, you put it on the scale, it weighs it, you type in a, a PLU number, and that'll print off a sticker for whatever the item is. So I throw it on the scale, and then I'm like, well, it's really centered. Maybe if I put it on the corner and like a peppercorn hangs out the side, it'll weigh like a tiny bit less, and I'll pay like maybe a penny less. Um, but then I'm like, what the fuck? It's not printing the sticker. And then I look at it, and then I realize they have the PLU number on one side, and then like a totally different number that I have no idea what it means on the other side and I was typing the wrong number I realized it I'm like okay fuck and then I type in the correct number prints off my sticker and then I move along so nothing really noteworthy happens uh the next few moments so I just kind of cut through the deli bakery whatever area I think I grabbed a pack of buns or something here um not too many people I mean the the heart rate blood pressure is doing pretty well uh, I grabbed a bag of frozen shrimp, and I don't remember why. I think I had a recipe in my head, and I don't fucking remember. Take a look if there's any good deals on fish. I thought they had uh, tuna steaks on sale, but I guess they didn't. Uh, kid had a fucking pallet right in the middle of the aisle, so I had to, like, squeeze through there. Uh, I remember I needed uh, vegetable bouillon, so I went to the soup aisle by, by all the bouillons here, and then I'm like, what the fuck? There's no vegetarian bouillon. And then I remember it's by the fucking health foods section, so I got to go over there. Uh, so I'm going to slow it down to real time because I just want to give a, a quick shout out. There are these chips. It's just the fucking store brand unsalted potato chips they have. And they are so fucking bitching. I had um, made a vegetarian sloppy joe thing from one of those fucking uh, like food faith family whatever food blogs. The ones where you got to like scroll down for like five minutes till you find the actual recipe. Um, pretty good. Pretty fucking good, but this chip is just the perfect complement to that fucking uh, vegetarian sloppy joes. So here I am in that scary aisle from the last video. It's uh, canned vegetables and the health foods, really narrow. Uh, I got kind of trapped and bullied last time. Uh, luckily this time nobody uh, comes down here while I'm here. Taking a look at uh, the different bullions. I thought there was a fucking, um, it's like a vegetarian one. It's supposed to be like chicken bullion, but it's vegetarian. I, I didn't see it there. I swear to God they have it, but I couldn't find it. Um, so I head over. I need, remember I needed uh, milk for the chowder, so I head over toward the dairy. The milk aisle is always fucking congested, so I'm slowly approaching it. Heart rate's probably going up a little bit. 
um, for everyone on the corner to the left here. And I'm actually going to bring it uh, to a standstill so we can actually kind of look at this together. It's hard to see the person in the back left, but there are four people uh, down the aisle today. Um, if you look at the center of the floor, there's like a line like in between the concrete slabs. Uh, I'll just kind of hi highlight it there. It's like right down the middle. So it's kind of like lanes like you're driving on the road. So at play is the old man in the other lane walking toward me, the basket display in my lane to the right, and then this lady standing there to my left. Also keep in mind I have a shopping basket in my right hand. So he makes like a really big power step to his left, like he's almost going to go around to my right side, and then I think he realizes that'd be fucking absurd, so then he corrects it, kind of brushes up against me. And remember, I got that shopping basket in my right hand, so I have like no room. So a crisis was averted, there was not a collision, thank God, but it was a lot closer than it should have been. But what bothered me was he was giving me this look like I was the one fucking up. It's like, dude, have we, maybe we actually need like traffic lines and traffic laws to follow. It'd be like if you missed your exit, you know, like, oh shit, I fucking just missed the milk there. Well, I'm just going to keep in my lane, go around, and then I'll swing through and grab it. So here I realized I forgot, uh, I think, carrots for the chowder, and then I'm in the paper aisle, and I remember I'm going to need toilet paper soon. The only thing on sale was, like, the super ultra mega rolls that never fit on a fucking toilet paper holder, so I'm like, ah, fuck it, I'm not going to get these today. I just kind of head over toward produce. So I'm actually going to slow things down a little bit. Uh, I'm going to bring it to standstill and play a quick game. I want you guys to tell me how many people you see straight in front of me. If you answered one, the lady with the cart, not bad. But there's a fucking guy standing here. Look at how well he blends in. His shirt is the same exact color as the fucking Asian foods department in the background. He's just standing. He hasn't moved for like a full minute. Just fucking, just fucking blending. So I walk by him, he's standing on his ground, and fucking produce now is a shit show. It's just a fucking free-for-all. Um, everyone's just being selfish, grabbing shit in front of each other. I just need a couple carrots, so I get those. So I grab my last couple items, start heading up to the front to pay for my shit, and the store always has an employee kind of manning the self-checkouts to answer questions or direct traffic or whatever. So he's the guy in the red there. Anyway, I watching the lady directly in front of me is paying for shit and about to leave when the employee tells me right over there sir so that, that was him directing me uh to go to the register that is literally like two steps in front of me that was opening up like i don't know if he didn't think i was gonna figure it out or or if i was just gonna keep standing there until somebody told me to fucking go to the register it's like dude like i don't know i just gave him a really confused look and was like all right and then started scanning my shit i don't know if it was something about me but like he was just kind of standing and looking over my shoulder like he just felt like something was going to go wrong where i would need his help um i almost wish like there's like a rank up system kind of like in the military where you get badges and medals and shit or he'd like he'd look at me like damn that man's he's a fucking four star because it's like dog please like i know a few plus i know what the fuck i'm doing just you know just give me my space and we'll go on our way so i think here i, I kind of realized i probably could have got everything into one paper bag instead of two plastic ones um but i didn't want to unbag my shit and then rebag it in a paper one people waiting and shit uh so i pay for my shit and head toward the exit pretty uneventful nothing too much happens so that's pretty much the end here. I hope you guys had at least a couple takeaways, a couple lessons learned. Until next time, see ya.